Hey, Doug Phillips. So this is another continuation, another video on the series I'm doing about my C-sharp bot uh, that I wrote, the Algo Trading bot. Uh, today I want to cover um, not risk to reward ratio, but I want to cover the average profitability per trade or average return. Um, because if you're just going off the risk to return ratio or your RR, your three R's, uh, it may be it may not be showing a true picture of what your bots actually doing whether you're profitable or not Okay, so let's flip over to my screen So on here you can see uh, I started adding in here for the, the daily and the weekly um, uh, Profitability ratio, okay, so I'm just gonna call it average profitability and So I've got that on here every time that my uh, timer fires off my bots running um, you know, it's checking to see if a trade has been closed or not. And once that trade has been closed, it's recalculating the average profitability. Okay. Uh, and it's just real simple, you know, in form refresh, I've got that I'm calling, um, I'm running a calculation, uh, a function and I'm passing in date time now. So it knows what today, whether it's today or whether it's for the week. <clears throat> And, you know, I'm just changing the color of it, whether it's green or it's red, depending upon if I'm profitable or not. Okay. So let's flip over to uh, my DLL where I actually have the function call itself. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, I was reading through, you know, trying to figure out where to go with all this st stuff, uh, what stats to add to the form. And I came across this one and I really liked it because it, tr it to me, it showed a truer picture of how the bot was doing. And I got it from investopedia.com. So I've included the link right there. You can type it in yourself, go to it. Um, but you know, giving credit where credit's due. Um, so anyways, mine is a double uh, for a return type. And basically I'm taking the start time, uh, start date. Uh, is it for today only, or is this gonna be weekly? And then just my logging level. And you can see my logging levels in other video that I made, uh, which it goes through and explains what that logging level is, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set the return value of zero. Um, and then I created a model for uh, my stats, okay? So, and that basically just looks like this. It's really easy, okay? So I want the number of trades. I want the number of winning trades. Uh, I wanna figure out what my win probability is, a probability. I wanna know what the average win is, the number of losses, the loss probability, and then what the average loss is, okay? Um, and as you can see here in the comments, I've got some of these. These these play off the formula from the investopedia.com page. Um, so you'll see these over in the function itself, okay? So back over to the function, you know, you can tell right here, I've got it, This I pulled it directly from the page, uh, just so I've got notes of how I, when I was programming it, I got the formula right there in front of me, okay? Um, one, I'm making sure that, you know, this stats is not, not null. Uh, then coming in here and then I'm calculating what the win probability and the average win is and I'm checking those, okay? Now, how I'm getting that is going by, uh, in my data access layer, I'm actually going back to the database and pulling those records into uh, a function of itself. <clears throat> Sorry. So. I'm taking the start date and I want to know what the start of the, I want to figure out what the start of the week is. Okay. So I'm, I'm saying the start of the week is always on Monday because that's when the market opens is on Mondays, uh, the majority of the time. And then I'm passing in, you know, do I want checking today only or not, or is this going to be for the week? And then I'm looking at trade blotter. So trade blotter is a database that I created, which stores my records of every trade that the, the bot takes. Okay. Uh, this is separate from what the broker has. This is purely on the machine or the laptop that it's running on the local database. Okay. And then I'm looking in there, I'm looking at the close date. Um, and then the exit reason algo stop. So every time that I take a trade, I have a status in there that says whether it's, um, uh, trade opened. Uh, am I waiting on the broker order? Am I waiting on a bro broker transaction record? Because those transaction records come later than the orders do, the order records. Um, and why did I stop? Did, it, did the algo stop it? Did I stop it? Did I cancel the trade? Stuff like that. So I only want to grab the ones that I, uh, or that the bot stopped itself, okay? 
no interaction by me. So I count them up, okay? Because this to me is the number of trades. So um, literally right here, number stats.trades equals trade blotters.count. I mean, that's simple. Um, and then I'm going through there just using link, you know, link uh, queries and uh, grabbing my win percentage uh, or number of wins that I'm, that I'm getting the percentage. Uh, and then I want to know what the average win is, okay? And then I'm doing the same thing on the loss side. So you can go through here. It's pretty fairly simple, but you can see it, okay? So, hey, I just had to stop the recording right there real quick. A um, couple of Chinook helicopters uh, just flew over the house, and, man, they are loud when they do it. So, um, anyways, getting back to uh, the code. So, getting back in here. Uh, you know, I've got the average loss for the average win and the average loss, and I'm ass assigning those to the stats object or saving them to the stats. And then I'm going to return that object back into my function, okay? And so that function right now, it's, you know, it's it's got it back. It didn't return nulls. It means it's a good object. Um, I'm looking at the win probability. I'm looking at the loss. Are they greater than zero or not? Stuff like that, because I don't want to divide by, uh, divide by zero error. And then I'm grabbing the return value. So this return value right now is that double uh, and is the average profitability per trade, whether it be 30 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, negative ten, uh, whatever that be. But you can tell um, you got your win probability times your average win. That gives you one number, and then you got a loss. Okay, on the loss side. And what I'll do is I'm going to sit there and I'm going to pull up PowerPoint. And I'm going to show this to you real quick. Basically, what you're going to do is here's the formula right here, okay? Uh, so you want your winning percentage, and you're going to times it by your average win, and you're going to minus that or subtract your loss percentage times average loss, okay? Um, you know, your win percentage is probability of a win, um, average win, average win amount. Go through these real quick. And so let me show you exa two examples of it, okay? So let's say I take 100 trades. Um, and out of that, so I've got 20 wins out of 100 trades. Well, that ends up being a 20% winning average, okay? My average win, when I do win, uh, we'll say it's $500, okay? Now, that means on the flip side, 80% of the time I'm losing. But on my losing trades, you know, whether I've got stop loss or, or trailing stuff or whatever, my average loss is only $166, so or minus $166, okay? So uh, that's a three to one risk re reward ratio. Now, three to one, that should be good, right? I should be winning at this. I should be profitable on this trade um, or on this. The problem is it's not, okay? It's misleading. Um, as you can see here, you know, once I do the calculations out, it's actually negative 33. So on average per trade, that is my average per trade is negative $33, okay? So this over the long term is not profitable. Now, let's say that I, same example, you know, 100 trades again, but this time let's reverse it, let's flip it, okay? Uh, let's say that my I've got a winning percentage of 80%, but my average winning this time is only $150, okay? It's not like the 500 from before, now I'm only $150, okay? And my, you know, that means 20% uh, loot loss percentage, but now when I lose, I lose big, okay? I'm losing a lot bigger. This is a horrible risk to reward ratio, okay? Um, you know, it's one to three. So um, this, you know, if this does not, if I depend upon how many of my trades I'm taking, this could, this could be not profitable either. But based upon average uh, profitability per trade, I'm actually plus 30, okay? Because if you take the, the percentage times the amount of times your average win is, that number there is greater than the number of losses. So therefore my average per profitability per trade is actually profitable. This is a, if you got these numbers long-term, you got a profitable strategy, uh, a winning strategy, okay? So you can play that and you can put that back into your form or your algo or whatever. Uh, maybe you got an Excel spreadsheet or maybe you use another website like I do. Um, that allows me to pop my trades in there and shows, uh, it doesn't call it APPT, it calls it, I think, return percentage or return dollar. 
uh, which, but all it is is the average, um, this average profitability per trade. So to me, it is a better indicator of how my bot is doing, how my trading is doing, and whether I have a long-term strategy or a strategy that's going to be winning for in the long term. So anyways, if you hit the like button below, if you like the video, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it. That way you get a notice every time I release a new video. But hey, thank you for watching and good luck with your trades.